between you and that dog, it's a total partnership. He trusts you 100%, you trust him. Faithful to the last as they lead their owners through a world of darkness. We've been training guide dogs in Britain for more than 80 years and the journey starts here in Warwickshire. Good morning, Guide Dog National Breeding Centre. How may I help you? Tonight, ITV takes a look behind the scenes at the Guide Dogs for the Blind training school near Leamington Spa, following a litter of puppies during their first few weeks of life as they're prepared for the big wide world. We have CDs that we play at a relatively low background noise, like lawn mowers, um, aeroplanes, trains, but whilst the pups are having an enjoyable experience, so they'll have a positive association once they get used to them. 22-year-old Mohammed Katri from Leicester is studying for a Masters in Philosophy. The documentary also features a young Muslim whose guide dog posed a religious dilemma. Under Islamic teaching, dogs are considered unclean and forbidden from going indoors. But in 2008, ITV central cameras were there as Mohammed Katri took his guide dog Vargo into a mosque in Leicester. It broke a taboo going back a thousand years and needed special permission from Islamic scholars. So I can take him, put him into his pen. He's got his own bed there, a little bowl, a little toy. I can go observe my prayers and then come back and Vargas waiting for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good boy. The National Breeding Centre in Warwickshire breeds more than a thousand pups a year, maintaining one of the most special bonds between man and animal. This is the squirrel test which measures how easily distracted they are. Good boy! We're looking for a variety of traits that, that are really important for, for guide dog work, and that's, of course, confidence. They need to be confident. They need to be responsive to the handler, so we expect them to be aware of the environment, but, um, but not over-aware and not too distracted. Did these puppies make the grade? You'll have to tune in tonight to find out. Peter Behan, ITV News.